from a marketing perspective, you can create groups. And so the example here would be, I wanna reach out to all of our customers in the Western region, or back to that, I wanna reach out to all of our technology customers. There's a newer product that we have coming out that is probably geared towards technology customers. And so I wanna create a group so that I can, um, I can create a email campaign that's gonna go out to them. And so, um, so within there, if I go into lists, relationships, groups, um, I can choose, so there's, and, and I kind of led what I did here, I have the Western region customers and um, technology customers. And so when I click on that group, it shows me all of the group members. Now, this is a dynamic customer group. So what what I've done there is I've created a search that says, show me all the customers that have an address in California, uh, Oregon, Arizona, and Texas. And so what's great about this is as a new customer comes in, if they fall within this group, they are automatically added to it. I can also create static groups, which is, hey, here are the top five customers for us, and I want to keep that top five, and I want to communicate to them via uh, email campaigns. I want to keep it just them, so I can do that also. Um, so again, I can create groups, and then once I do that, um, I can create email templates. And so if I go to lists, uh, marketing, and then marketing campaigns, okay. Oops, sorry, I didn't click new. Um, so what we're doing here is creating a marketing campaign that will allow me to email out to our customers based upon a specific group. And so if I wanted to say it to our Western, um, you know, our Western clients, I can create a campaign and I can say this campaign starts January and it goes through uh, March, so it's a Q1 campaign, um, and in the uh, email, who's the group for it? Well, there are those the groups that I created, so we're going to say Western Region, um, and then I can create an email template that when it says, hey, you know, uh, Mr. Customer, here's um, some upcoming information that's uh, about our company, here's a new product release that we're excited to share with you, um, what's the channel, we can email that, and then um, they can be both email as well as if you wanted to track any direct mail so you can kind of see a variety of uh, campaign methods. Um, and so that lets us know, okay, we started a campaign in Q1 and any orders um, that were created during that time frame, I get feedback. How, how did I do on that? What was our expected revenue from this campaign? Um, so those are the things that we can track because we've set the customer up, we've created the email communication within NetSuite. And, and again, this is all standard functionality that you're seeing within here. Um, and, and then as those orders come in and the transactional data, I can keep track of that and report on that um, afterwards. So.